Okay, guys, so analyzing Sissipas' forehand, one of the things that I just want to play regular speed for a while because his racket head speed is crazy. It kind of reminds me very much like Rublev, the way he just gets there and just whips through the ball. Uh, it's really impressive, and you can't appreciate it unless you're seeing it like quick speed like this. Now let's analyze it slow motion. Hey everybody, my name is Peter Freeman. I am an online tennis coach. So we're going to see, first of all, that unit turn. We, we see that Sispas is holding on to the throw of the racket for a while, although I would say he releases. Sometimes he doesn't hold on to the throat this long, I noticed, too, when he hits. So I would say for a lot of pros, he releases his offhand uh, earlier than a lot of pros. Uh, he's starting something that I like to refer to as the open option. So what does that mean? It means that he's going to set up in an open stance, and this gives him the option that when he doesn't have time, if the ball is landing deep here or he's got to move out there, he has the option to hit open. Uh, if he wants to step in, he has the option to step in. So he's set up in the open option for him, which every pr professional is. They give himself that option. Now, as he goes into that unit turn, notice that he brings the racket head just above the tip of his own head. Okay, so brings that racket face fairly high. And then I want you to notice something, and I think this is how he's getting a lot of whip on that forehand. Look how he kind of tucks and curls. And you notice a lot of professional servers actually do something like this with their wrists when they're getting ready to serve, which I, is, I, I believe, a power move. So he's kind of tucks and curls his wrist almost inward. Now that that is a little bit unique to him. Not all pros do that. So he's got that look there. And then we're going to see that he quickly unravels that. So we're just going to back out here. He's set up. One thing that I love that he does is look how strong he uses this offhand. I really wish more recreational players would do this. And what this is doing is not only loading the core, but it's also measuring the ball. He wants to make sure that he hits outside of that hand. He doesn't want the ball coming under the hand here, then he's too close. So this helps with spacing and also creates power. But you're going to see so many pros do this with their offhand, and not a lot, a lot of recreational players do that. Now, again, we can still see he's kind of got that wrist in that, that position that we looked at a, a frame ago. So I'm just going to come here. We're going to circle the wrist right there. See how he's got that tucked in. And then from this move, he's going to start to go down and release it. You see how he's gone down and he's released that. So look where he is there. Now when he goes to hit, now look how the, the racket is in that lag position coming out this way. And he does that so quickly that this is where he builds up a lot of that racket head speed and whip into the ball. And then we can see before he goes to hit, Again, very common on the tour, not very common on the recreational <laughs> tour, if we have our own tour, is this arm is pretty much straight. And he comes here, hits. Now, you can see that the racket head, although he's not tight, as he's hitting, he's not using a lot of wrist when he hits. Okay, so that wrist action's kind of set up before the hit going into the wrist lag. And then after the hit, right there, now to make that move happen, now he's turning over. Look how the frame is forward, facing to the ground to make sure that ball does not fly on him. And then he comes around. Actually, he does a little Rafa action right there. There's a little buggy whip forehand, Rafa and Nadal style. So again, players all have their own styles. Rafa, definitely more famous for doing that. But they all kind of do the same follow-throughs, just maybe... Some players do it more than others when they get looks. Now, let's take a look at another one. We're going to see the same thing. See how he releases earlier this time? I told you that, that he releases earlier than a lot of pros when he gets set with that offhand. We can see here that he always does this thing with his wrist, though. Racket head high and straightens out the arm. Wrist lag, big wrist lag, stepping in the ball with his open option, hitting driving through the ball, turning over, 
and that is a big weapon on tour these days. Been waiting for Sissy Paz to break through. He's had lots of big wins. He's winning bigger and bigger tournaments. Then he kind of cools off. He's back again. What do you guys think? How is he looking going into the French Open? It's going to be very interesting. If Rafa can get healthy, Novak, how is he going to respond? He lost first round here in Monte Carlo. Alcaraz, now you got Sissy Paz, Zarev, Cor. <laughs> Lots of people are going to be dangerous this year on the clay. Who is your pick? And who should we analyze next? If you like this video, give this video a like. And if you're totally obsessed with tennis like me, subscribe so you don't miss my next video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.